Now, renal patients at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital are threatening to picket at the renal unit on Wednesday, August 21, 2024, to express their dissatisfaction with the authorities' failure to clear essential medical supplies at the port, which has prevented them from receiving proper medical care. Channel One News' Kate Odenia Amenyiko has more. It has been three weeks since the renal unit was closed to outpatients. Authorities explained that the closure is due to a shortage of consumables, but assured that the supplies would be cleared soon to allow outpatients to resume their dialysis treatment. Despite these assurances, the spokesperson for the Renal Patient Association of Ghana, Kojoba Fuahenkwa, says the government is not showing any sense of urgency to expedite the clearance, putting the lives of patients at risk. What happened was that apparently we learned that uh, there's another food that contains another kind of food, which contains another very essential part of the uh, consumables that we need to make the units run to meet for capacity. So that one is still there. So the question we were asking ourselves is how come that they couldn't bring all the two together? But we've been to, not that we've been to, but my checks and my sources saying that. Uh, there needs to be some waiver, whatever it might be, to those things have not been done. Documentation work, paperwork, all those things. And people are dying. People are dying. The point I'm trying to raise here is that I don't know if the ministry is aware of this, Ministry of Finance is aware of this, uh, GRE is aware of this. Please, whatever documentation that they need to do, people are dying. When asked why the facility was empty with no signs of medical care being provided to inpatients, this was Kojoba for Ahinkra's response. I don't know whether they don't have inpatient to treat them or they have. I don't know what is going on. I'm here to cross check and find out why is that today the inpatient are not here. But from last week, I can speak that they were inpatient, they were taking good care of them, which I was very happy to that. But the bottom line is the consumable are in, the, they are in this country. They are not anywhere. They are happy. Kojo Bafua Henkra also expressed concern about how the situation is draining their finances. For a session, 800 Ghana cities. Most of us are supposed to do twice or three times a week. Why are we going to demand that money from? It's only the government sector of Kulibu that maybe is 400 and top. What is going to be cheap? Almost close to 500 per session. You need to do twice. Now we see 1,000 cities. And now this place is closed. Moreover, not that the consumables are not in the country. They are in the country. No, they should go to the various houses of those people and see the way they are suffering. Please, Mr. Okoboy, Dr. Okoboy, Minister of Finance, I've forgotten his name, and then GRE boss, we beg them. Whatever be the case, we beg them. If not that by Wednesday, we are picketing here. All the real and the percent are coming to sleep here until we receive the consumables from Tamaport. Meanwhile, speaking on Eyewitness News today, the public relations officer of the Kolebu Teaching Hospital, Mustafa Salifu, indicated that efforts are being put in place for the consumables to be cleared by Friday, August 23, 2024. Our chief and his team were at the ministry, the Ministry of Finance, they've had some engagements and they, we have been given the assurance that uh, before the end of this week, uh, we'll have the container in Kolebu so that we will resume normal operations. Uh, we, just, we, we need the forward to be done speedily so that our logistics officer can go and then bring the containers. The renal patients here at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital are urging the government to expedite clearance of consumable stock at the port or they will be picketing here come Wednesday, August 21, 2024 to register their displeasure and the need for government to address their issues immediately. Reporting for Channel One News, my name is Kit Odenya Amenipo.